Hey, Capricorn, welcome back. Capricorn, let's get into your bonus messages and see what spirit has for you. Let's go, Capricorn. Looks like somebody hit a roadblock here. <laughs> They're so busy looking back at the past that they didn't see what was they were headed for. Somebody looking back at the past here. This could be uh, the temperance is here. Could be a Sag. I don't know. You could have Sag in your placements. Somebody didn't see that they were headed straight toward a roadblock here. They're so busy looking back. What's going on? Were someone stuck in the past? There could be, I don't know, someone's actions. Someone in denial. Someone denying something. I don't know what yet. This is someone discontent or distraction. So somebody might have been doing something as a distraction. Hmm. Because they're hurt. What's going on about this? Oh, okay. It could be friends. It could be, let's see, clarify the three of cups. What's the three of cups here, spirit? Oh. What's this all about? Well, the truth. Somebody is walking away, getting the truth, and it could have been about a third party. Somebody could have been denying that they had a third party, or this could be someone creating in a, a distraction using a third party as a distraction. Hmm. Like somebody kept looking back at this um, past person, they're using a third party as a distraction. They are. Not sure why yet. Hmm. Oh, denying that they're worried, but what? Oh, my goodness. I think someone has gone to a third party as a distraction because they can't stop thinking about an empress. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking here. They're 
jealous because the Empress is getting a lot of attention. Oh, come off it. This is like, I'm going to get you before you can get me. Somebody picked up a third party or something like that as a distraction because the Empress is getting a lot of attention. Are you for real? Did I just read that? They're jealous. They got a third party to make the Empress jealous? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, jeez. Somebody needs to grow up here. <laughs> yeah, because they're hurt. What? Oh, someone is going way... This is too deep for me. This is psycho thinking. <laughs> and I don't like it. This is somebody with an over-vivid imagination and self-sabotaging energy. This is somebody who's like, oh my good God. They got this rationale in their head somehow that... Okay, I'm going to hurt the Empress before the Empress hurts me. I see that the Empress gets a lot of attention or that people respect them or like them. So I'm going to go get a third party to hurt the Empress. That'll hurt the Empress if I get a third party. Is this nuts or what? Yeah, it is foolish. I am sorry it is. I'm going to start... Oh, okay. So, I'm going to start trying to make the Empress jealous. I'm going to start talking to other people. I'm going to start dating other people. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start doing that. It's a distraction. Because this person is like going nowhere. They're not going nowhere. They think they're going somewhere, but they're not going nowhere. It's like they're playing these little mind games. They're like... Okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do the other thing as a distraction. I'm going to distract myself so I don't have to think about the past person. I'm going to fill the void here, or I'm going to make the Empress jealous, or I'm going to let the Empress think that they're not the only ones who get attention. <laughs> Oh, what is he doing? Oh, God, people. Uh, yeah, see? Because I don't know if it backfired or not or whatever. Because it's like, this person's like, just like waiting they're not going to, it's like, I don't know if they're testing the Empress or what they're doing. This is psycho. It's like, instead of just saying, well, I think I have feelings for the Empress or I'm in love with the Empress. It's like, 
I might flirt. I might like let the empress see me be with a third party or see that I'm dating or that I'm happy. But why do they keep looking back? If they're so happy, why do they keep looking back at the empress? Like, that's what I want to know. It's a distraction. They're distracting themselves by other people, dating other people or something. But their heart, they're, I don't know if they're trying to replace an empress and can't. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care if they, how many options they have. It's like whatever options that they have don't compare to what the Empress has. Like, I don't know why they're trying to play this game. Like to them, it's like a game. It's weird. They need a healing instead of just like accepting the fact that the Empress loves them and accepting the fact that this is someone you can take at face value. Why can't they take the Empress at face value? I don't understand why. How come it's never the Emperor? <laughs> why is it always the Empress? Why is it always the Empress that has to, like, prove themselves worthy or... I don't get that. Why can't people just accept when they find a real thing that it's a true thing? I don't get that. What, what's all the, the testing about and what's all the... why is this person self-sabotaging they are self-sabotaging thinking this is someone overthinking everything and it's like how are they ever going to have a normal relationship if they keep doing this like they're making me mad why can't people just take people at face value? Like if an empress, you're fortunate enough to ever run into an empress. I don't know why the empresses are always being tested. It's like being tested, tested, tested. Are they worthy? Do they mean what they say? Oh, I bet because they get attention and they have friends and people like them that they're eventually going to cheat on me or they're eventually going to find someone else. Why even waste your time and energy? I don't understand it. It's like they're going to end up hurting me. They're going to end up cheating on me. They're going to end up doing this to me anyway. So I may as well sabotage it. That's their own insecurities. Uh, you know, if they don't know how to recognize love when they see it, and they want to manipulate it and turn it into something that it ain't. Why did they get, why are they angry now? Because it was, they were believing a lie? Their own lies? Like this is somebody who is very, this is somebody who's very dedicated. Look, this is somebody who is very committed who commands leadership. This is someone very solid and stable. 
And it's their own darn thinking that has messed up this entire relationship. And yeah, maybe they regret it. But it's the aftermath. It's like you create all this stupid drama. You create all these problems. You create all these issues. And then you wonder why the Empress walks away. I don't get it. I'm sorry I don't. <laughs> I'm not made this way and I don't want to learn this way. It's just mind games. That is self-sabotaging thoughts. And they're looking back at the past and they're looking back at the Empress and seeing everything that the Empress had to offer. But in the meantime, they went out there and sabotaged everything out of their own thoughts. I don't know if they're testing the Empress to see what the Empress would put up with or not put up with. I, Or it, if you're the masculine, your person may have done this to you. I'm not sure. It can he work either way? It's just give they don't know how to be themselves. It's, yeah. Like, they know their feelings are real. Like, they know that they have feelings for the Empress and that they love the Empress. But then it's like, I'm going to test them. I'm going to keep putting them through test after test after test till the Empress is thinking, well, they really don't care about me then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or they don't trust me or they don't care. You know? Too hard, man. This kind of stuff gives me headaches. Let's see what they got to say for themselves. Like, this would drive me nuts mentally. I couldn't handle it. It's too much mental overload. It's just so simple to be straightforward. And it is just so freaking easy to be straightforward and genuine. Like, what's with all the games? Why do you got to play games? Like, this person is clearly playing a mind game. Yeah, lying to others about you to make themselves look good. That's what I'm saying. It, it, creating a distraction. It, it takes away from, you know, what they really did. It takes away from, like what they did so they can make you look bad so it gets the heat off of them or something it's and all they want to do is hold you so they can't be real with themselves distractions so they go partying with their friends or whatever is a distraction having third parties or whatever I told you they were gaslighting themselves. They are fooling themselves. Telling themselves stuff, false narratives. They were. I think, you know, time will heal all wounds. Hmm. But they didn't want to see the Empress with someone else. No, no, they did not. Well, they did have a negative outlook on life. <clears throat> and maybe now they want to change it. I don't know. They were having these negative thoughts, I told you. It was their own thoughts. It's like someone drove themselves crazy, like... They must have laid awake and they got too much time on their hands thinking. This is an overactive imagination. 
and they really could have blown a good relationship by doing it. They were jealous of your light and your good fortune. They were telling themselves false narratives. So it's like, I'm going to hurt you before you hurt me. I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to test the Empress to the limit. I'm going to put them and drag them through the mud here. And then they'll prove that they love me. And all they proved they destroyed a perfectly good relationship. That's what they did. Well, this will happen. That will happen. The other thing could happen. What if this happened? What if that happened? What if the Empress is like they sabotaged. It's they made their worst fear happen. That's what they did do. They made their worst fear come true. Because the Empress is not going to put up with that. And the Empress is not going to chase. And the Empress is very understanding and very forgiving, but. They're not going to be treated like an option. And they're not going to be treated like a, a non-priority. They'll go the other way. So someone, they mean what they say. They say what they mean. This empress says that they love you. It's because they love you. There's nothing complicated about it. If the Empress says, look, this is what's up, take them at face value because they got nothing to hide. They're not hiding anything. Maybe this person's used to people lying to them. Or, or maybe they're used to not trusting anybody or not trusting a real love or something. It's like they wouldn't know what real love was. They're lying to themselves. It's like, this person really self-sabotaged. They, they can make it happen. You know, like they made it happen. They made it happen by their own negative thoughts. That's sad. Because the love was there. They just didn't believe it. They didn't believe it. Take care.